Hey guys, what's going on? As a photographer and videographer, you can never have too much storage. Especially when traveling, you want something that's small, portable, and durable. Although I like to travel as light as possible, you always want to drive as a backup or even use it as a primary drive. The most recent solution I'm using is the ACAS's TBU405 along with the Samsung 980 Pro. The enclosure was $120, but sometimes you can find on the ACAS's website for around the same price or even cheaper. The solid state was $230 from Micro Center, coming to a total of about $350. Having something that is fast and cheap shouldn't really be used in the same sentence. But if you could pay a little bit more to have something way faster than traditional drives, then maybe this is for you. The TBU405 features Thunderbolt 4 and 3 while utilizing a USB Type-C port which supports USB 3.2, 3.1, 3.0, and 2.0. You can use any M2 NVMe SSD as long as it has an M key or a BNM key. Just be sure to check their website and see what is currently recommended. I went with the Samsung 980 Pro to see how much faster it really is since all the other videos I've seen feature the Acasa's TBU401 along with the Sabrin drive. It's made of aluminum and silver and in dark gray. Included in the box is a Thunderbolt 3 cable, a screwdriver, screws, extra screws, 0.5 millimeter thermal pad, and the user manual. Installation is simple with just four screws in the back and then one screw holding down the SSD. However, the included thermal pad was not the greatest of quality and was more of a wet gum kind of feature. While using the supplied USB cable and Blackmagic disk speed test, the Samsung 980 Pro came in about 2500 megabytes per second right and a read about 2200 megabytes per second. One thing to note is that I am using a 15 inch 2018 MacBook Pro with the 2.2 gigahertz 6 core i7. I did format this drive at APFS just for the test, but since I use Windows and Mac, I will have been using XFAT. By using XFAT, the write speed did come in at about 1300 megabytes per second and a read speed of about 1500. However, that's still faster than all of my other drives. The enclosure does get a little bit warm, but not too, too hot. I will be exploring different thermal pads later in the future. And just for a quick comparison, I did speed test my Samsung T7 and then came around 230 megabytes right and a read of about 550. Although I'm a huge buy for life type of person, for the money and value, a DIY option seemed more ideal if it can greatly improve my workflow. There are a lot of other options out there for external drives and SSDs. In the end, I do feel like this is the better option compared to other solid state drives on the market, especially when you can swap out to other NVMe M2 drives when using the same enclosure. As a photographer and videographer, you can never have too much sport. Sporage. Hey guys, what's going on? 